so I bought a new camera. I bought this camera, I hope the quality is well, it's not the best lighting yet, it's not anything best, but finally I invested in a new camera. So what's up guys, my name is Marco, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, I talk about beauty care, I talk about personal growth, self-care, anything that can make you reach that level of success that you want to improve yourself. So I always use my phone to make videos, to make YouTube videos. I started my YouTube channel two years ago. I made a quick video uh, thanking you guys for the two years staying with me on my YouTube channel. And I've always used my iPhone to make videos. I bought some uh, gear, I bought this ring light I'll show you right now. This is the cool thing about having a camera and not using your phone, that you can have the phone to make uh, to make videos without uh, interrupting yourself. So, for example, I bought this ring light right here and this is the camera. This is the Sony A6400 with a lens, which is the Sigma 60 mm lens 1.4 aperture. So guys, let me tell you, I had no idea what does it mean. <laughs> I just know uh, because I watched a lot of reviews, a lot of reviews. Anytime that I want to buy something new, I don't know, mostly talking about gears, I always watch so many reviews and I decided to go for this one and this particular lens because all the creators, all my friends were like, Marco, don't just buy the camera, buy a lens, save some money for the lens, save some money for the kit lens, it's the most uh, useful part, it's the incredible part. All right, okay. <laughs> so I watched a lot of videos and yes, there were cameras for 2,000 euros, 3,000 euros, even a little bit more. But I said, you know what, even if right now, because I'm starting to get some money through YouTube and through social media, I can afford it, I prefer to save some money and take a camera that, yes, it's great. I wanted something that it was not like comparable to the iPhone, but something that was actually more, more, like much, much better than the iPhone, uh, because it was, that, that was no point of like buying, for example, I love the Canon M50. Everybody has a Canon M50, but it records in 180p. I prefer to record in 4K. So I wanted a camera that it was recording in 4K, that it wasn't too expensive, that was better than an iPhone, and with a flip out screen. Because as you saw, you have a flip, flip screen. I'll show you here, this part right here. Uh, I wanted to have this one because it's really important for myself to record myself while, to see myself uh, while I'm here uh, talking. Because first with the iPhone, if I used the front facing camera, this one right here, sorry, this one right here, the front facing camera, the one that I'm using right now is the camera quality is bad but once i was using this one the camera quality was better but i couldn't see myself so i needed this and so this is what i did for the camera i've always used my iphone as i told you i bought this ring light one year ago and i bought a rode mic no let me tell you let me show you it's a shooter mic sorry this one right here which is a. oh let me see if it's in focus or not all right now, now it's in focus which is a cool mic that actually is a little bit expensive is 150 bucks that you attach to the phone to record yourself and let me tell you the quality is great but the thing is you have to download an app you have to test it you have to try it you have to be in airplane mode every time that you record a video uh, because you can uh, you can listen and you can hear uh, some really bad noise while you're recording and sometimes I had videos completely destroyed, completely ruined by these things while I was recording and you don't even notice that until you finish with the video. And your battery percentage of your phone keeps going down and maybe you need it, you make, you need to make a video real quick and then you need to go uh, outdoor or you need to go out. So sometimes it struggles. Uh, it, it doesn't suck because you definitely can have a YouTube channel with an iPhone. I did it for two years, but one thing is 
if you start making it like professional, like because I'm starting to make some videos for some businesses and for some brands and some collaborations, bigger collaborations and contracts, I decided, you know what? I make videos, I make photos, a camera I think is a good investment. I cannot just keep going with the phone. I bought also, uh, before buying this camera one year ago, I decided to buy also this one, the Osmo Pocket, which is the by DJI. It's an incredible camera. I really like it. You can see here, you turn it on, it makes his things and it's very, very cool. But the point is, it records 4K, it has a gimbal stabilization, so it's perfect for vlogs, anything. But this blurry background that you see right here, this is the thing that makes you think that is a great quality video. Yes, of course, the message is important. The, the person who talk is important, of course. But for a great quality video, I wanted this blurry background and a camera is the only thing that can give you that. And so having one device just for recording videos and to take pictures, that's what I wanted. But this camera and of course the iPhone will be useful whenever I'm around. I will not bring around the Sony a6400 even if it's a small one. Uh, there is like bigger ones like the a7R or the a7 III, a7 II, which people told me to buy. But I was like, mm, too much. I don't even know how to use the manual and how to record videos with a camera. This is my first camera, so it's better to go for a $1,000 camera first. I bought it used with the lens and everything and for 1000 uh, bucks. I think it's a great price. I bought also this Amazon Basic backpack, which I love. Inside you can see all these things. I have all my cables, the DJI Osmo Pocket and everything. The kit lens, which the camera comes with. This is the 16, 16 to 50 millimeters. But it's not like the biggest quality, the, the greatest quality. So people told me buy this one, the 16 millimeter Sigma lens, uh, because it has better quality. You can see the sharpness better, and it, it has also uh, it's a little bit wider, and it's great quality. And also you can see a blurry background because the aperture goes to 1.4, which is very wide, very open. It means that you can have a very a blurry background. I didn't know anything about uh, cameras and videography and photography, but I started making some uh, courses online. So right now I know about how to take photos in manual, manual, how to make videos, frame rates, aperture, ISO, uh, shutter speed, everything. So I'm really grateful for that. And I bought also another light, I will show you. I bought also this light right here and it's very cool. Actually, this is the first video that I use it for. <laughs> and I bought this mic, which guys, 50 bucks is amazing. I could have bought a bigger one, but I don't want to have batteries because I have to keep inserting batteries. I don't want something on its own. I want just something that I plug in the camera and it's just right, perfect to go. And guys, I bought also the tripod, the Joby three kilograms tripod. It's amazing, I love this tripod. It's very, 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 very uh, compact, but heavy and solid, great quality. It feels great, I love it. Uh, Casey Neistat made it popular, but I love it. So with this and this and this and the Osmo Pocket, and let me tell you that I also have a drone right here. I have the DJI Mavic Mini. <laughs> I'm ready to go, so that's it. So that's it guys, I'm ready to go. I'm trying to uh, get better. I, as soon as I started my YouTube channel, it was like putting out content, putting out content, putting out content, I just want to make videos. But then after a while I said, you know what, let's try to reduce a little bit of con um, quantity to go for quality. So right now I'm trying to get better at quality and I know I noticed that people actually like it. And I like it too, I prefer to make videos like that. So that's it guys, uh, it's very cool to make videos that you're proud of instead of just putting out content online and hope you like this camera as well. I think that I'll definitely have to get a better place to stay as well because I wanted something more neutral and basic as a studio if I want to make studio 
content right now as I'm talking right here. Uh, so not yellowish, not orangish. I wanted something like white or just gray or something like that with great lightings. That's it. So I don't know what I'll do maybe with my bedroom or maybe once I'll go away. I'll definitely change but it's it guys this is the new camera I hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments what do you think about it if you like this quality and I'll see you in the next video bye I've been flying from town to town.